The Landscape Design Award category recognizes excellence in urban planning and the design of parks and gardens. This year's finalists are Andrea Cochran. Yay, Andrea, at my table tonight. Um, the firm is Andrea Cochran Landscape Architecture and Stoss Landscape Urbanism. James Corner Field Operations is our winner. Jim established the firm back in 1998. Among their works are the High Line in New York City, which I love, love, love. What do you guys think of the High Line? Spectacular, isn't it? They also created the pool decks and the gardens of City Center in Las Vegas and Fresh Kills Park on Staten Island. The firm was recently selected to serve as the lead designer of Seattle's new central waterfront. Huge, huge uh, commission. Here to present the Landscape Design Award is Stan Allen, Dean of Princeton University School of Architecture. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here to honor my friend Jim Corner tonight. Uh, I, I first met Jim, I, I think it was 1996 or 1997. I was sitting in my office, I got this call, there was a guy on the other end of the line with an English accent. Uh, it was Jim calling from uh, the Landscape Architecture Department at Penn to invite me down to a review. He told me a little bit about the project the students were working on. They were doing something in the desert. Um, I didn't know who this guy was. It all sounded a little touchy-feely, and I begged off. Uh, later, though, at the urging of our mutual friend Alex Wall, I did start to go down regularly to Jim's reviews at uh, Penn. And Jim was doing extraordinary work with the landscape architecture students down at uh, Penn. And it was at that time that I really sort of, sort of stood up and said, look, this is a guy we really have to pay attention to. This is somebody who's going to be doing important work in the future. And over those years, I got to know Jim. We did some work together. And if there's one thing I can tell you, there's absolutely nothing touchy-feely about Jim Corner. Uh, now, since that time, and it's not so long ago, I would also add, Jim built up field operations to what it is today. One of the most significant design practices in the country, and I say that the most significant design practice operating in any discipline today. So I'm someone who's had a chance to see Jim uh, work. Uh, I've observed the design process uh, up close. And I think it will come to no surprise to Jim that there are three points that I want to make about Jim's work. Um, the first is the scope of his vision for landscape architecture as a practice. Jim thinks big. You, you just have to go back to one of his first publications, the book Taking Measures Across the American Landscape, where he sort of took the entire United States as his working canvas. And he's continued to think in very, very large terms for the field of landscape architecture. Jim is not content for landscape architecture to be a discipline that sort of decorates some greenery around buildings that are designed by uh, others. And I think really more than anyone else, he's given us a, a vision of what that kind of expanded landscape architecture practice would look like. The second point is his passion and commitment to what he does. Uh, nobody builds up a practice uh, uh, like field operations, puts in the hours that are required without believing passionately in what he does. And Jim really believes passionately in uh, landscape as a practice. And finally, and the reason we're here tonight, uh, is to celebrate his talent, his creativity, and his intelligence as a designer. So congratulations, Jim. Well deserved. Thank you very much. This is a, a, an enormous pleasure, an enormous privilege, and, and thank you very much, Stan. Um, you really excelled in that summary, and, and Stan has been an enormous uh, friend and colleague and influence 
over the past decade. Uh, I know we began our introduction sort of uh, cursorily, but uh, over the past decade, we really have collaborated a lot uh, intellectually, culturally, and uh, academically. Um, uh, this is a big award for me. It's a big award for field operations, but it's really a, a, a big award for landscape architecture generally. Landscape architecture has soared as a field in the past 20 years um, for environmental and ecological reasons, for urban design and urbanism uh, reasons, and for the contributions that landscape architects have made to the quality of the public realm. And the High Line is really a good example of the contribution landscape architecture can make to creating you know, really unique and fantastic uh, public spaces in the city. Um, the second point I'd like to make is that, you know, one doesn't do this alone. Uh, field operations is, uh, is a collective practice. Uh, I founded and, and sort of started the thing, but my colleagues here, Ellen Nices, Lisa Switkin, Richard Kennedy, Tatiana Chulika at our table, and others in our practice, you know, we really function collaboratively and collectively, and I, 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 my, my hat is off to the team as a whole. Um, finally, you know, you don't do great work without great clients. The High Line uh, is a fabulous project, is a beautiful design, but it's also a design that resulted uh, out of amazing collaboration with our clients. Uh, Peter Mullen is here representing the Friends of the High Line, but also the City of New York with the uh, uh, Parks Department, the City Planning Department, and uh, the Economic Development Corporation. And we also have a wonderful clients in Memphis and Los Angeles and Seattle now. So great projects happen through great clients. And, and finally, I, I, just because my family is here, my beautiful little girls, they're... Uh, 16 and 18, even though they look like 22 and 24. Um, uh, I really have to have my hats off to my beautiful family and, and thank you all very much for this wonderful award. Thank you. Thanks, Stan. Congratulations to James Corner Field Operations.